everybody. It's the host of Last Week Tonight, Mr. John Oliver. I, I want to I wanna, uh, check in on a couple of things here. We're, it's always too much fun here. Your 10th season yeah. of, uh, of uh, Last Week Tonight. Yeah. Is, is about to, when's it start? Sunday. This Sunday. This Sunday. Uh, 10th season. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. Thanks. I'm not yeah. exactly sure how to preamble this photo I'm about to show, but this is the poster that's going up all over town. This, yep. is, the one, this is the ad that's being run yeah, in magazines yeah. on the yep. internet. Yep. This is, uh, and the, the, the tag is, it's only been nine years, yep. and it starts off with, this is over here, mm -hmm. two photos. One of you from... Well, our very first poster. Yeah, yeah, from, uh, the, from, the day, from the day that we started the show. 2014. Yep. 2014. 2014. Right. Yeah. And, then this, and then just, just and me. And then you now. Yeah, just me now. Yeah. <laughs> now... Then, yeah. So it's not ideal. Sure. It's not ideal. You got. You got I want to know. It's right, not ideal. Please tell me you're slouching because it nope. looks like nope. you actually lost height. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have been diminished. The crazy thing is, eight weeks. So I'll, I'll write a scene. He came up with this idea, and it's a perfect idea. And then we sent it to HBO, and the first draft they sent back was. Me on this side, and then they, they kind of mocked up me with like a long beard, like I'm in ZZ Top. And we had to say to them, no, the joke isn't what I might look like if I age badly. The joke is my actual face. <laughs> Believe me, That's my nice. face can stick, stick the landing on this punchline. That's very nice. Yeah. It's can I ask you a question? Sure, go what for happened? it. What happened? Go, Jim, can we go back to this place? What happened to this little mop up there? <laughs> That, you could do that. What happened to this right there? <laughs> you know what? That, Liz Stanton, who's our executive producer, yeah. she uh, made me get a haircut because she did not like those bangs. Even though, in a, in a sense, I was ahead of my time. Uh, <laughs> or you could argue horribly behind the time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She, one of her life regrets is that she did not force me to have a haircut. She, before the first show, she got that haircut, not before the photo shoot. So that, those bangs, I think, hurt her eyes and soul every time she... <laughs> You go. Look how young you look right there. Yeah. Like you look fantastic. Yeah. You look fantastic here. That's it. I want you to think about it. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some surgically mm -hmm. implanted bangs. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they do them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah. you're over at that HBO, right? Are What's you that? HBO or are you HBO Max? Who is knows? The, is there it's, a difference? It's a fast-moving landscape, this media world yeah. that we work in. How is, I the don't new, know who... how is the leadership over there? You guys got bought and there's blood in the gutters? Since, since I walked out? Because I don't know. We're getting bought a lot at the moment. Are, yep. are, you, are you saying that we've been bought by the mouse? Are they still... Is, are, we still, still are we still... Yeah, by, still, by, by, yeah. The, by the yeah. shark guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you are you part of Shark Week now? No, because I am against corporate synergy in all of its most convenient forms. <laughs> okay, before we go, before we go, before yeah. we go, what do you got? I have to obviously. I, yeah. I need to get uh, uh, both an American and. Do you have dual citizenship, by the way, or did you yeah, say? Yeah, okay, I got dual citizenship. You asked so, me that last time. I have dual citizenship. I don't know what you find so difficult. I'm allowed to be. I don't. A citizen of both. <laughs> Countries. I don't understand that don't at all. Like no, it. I don't. You don't like it at I all, don't do you? Like it at you all. like someone to pick a lane and no. stay in it. When my my uh, the, one of the Colberts way back in the yeah. day, they came over. They yeah. came over. They, he landed somewhere in Virginia and had to go all the way yeah. to St. Louis to get away from trouble. I think he was. I think it was a horse thief. He had <laughs> wait, to... wait, 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 back up. You can't throw in a detail in a story like that. Anyway, I think it was a horse thief. That's the most fascinating thing I've ever <laughs> heard out of your mouth. I yeah. only see now horse thief generation. In yes. You. I'm I'm never letting you near. A horse, because that doesn't go away. The family rule, uh, they, we believe that he was a horse thief, and that's why he had to flee. But when he became an American citizen, we yeah. have the little document. He yeah. had to say he forswears any allegiance right. to the Queen of England. Yeah. Well, I, I forswore that years before I became an American <laughs> citizen. So that that was not an issue. All right, that's good. I'd, You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, welcome. yeah. I, I, I dumped so that So give me the international ago. perspective here. Uh, what? These UFOs. Yeah. These UFOs. Yeah. What do, you, do you think they're UFOs? You are, they are. are. These UFOs are under your skin. Look at look at you all sat up. You're excited, aren't you? Well, John, what is it about? The, what, you, what is it about the possibility of the no, UFOs that excites me? Of course, of course. I get it. Is it the idea that you thought know, we've taken this life on Earth thing as far as we can? Someone take the relay baton from us. Is that what it is? I would love some advice. Yeah, I would love some advice. I mean, yeah, the, yeah these these are you know these are. Unidentified I... aerial phenomena. That's right. So they That's exist. Right. It's it's, it's real. the you part of that right. identified. But they told right? us like two and a half years ago that they were real. That they do like you know right. eight thousand miles an hour and they stop instantly and they pull eight hundred G's well, or whatever. Can, you're conflating a lot of things there, right? That these, That's these, what I do. These are. <laughs> 
I do that professionally. Have you not watched the show? <laughs> you know, you, you know who else conflates a lot of things? Dominoes. And <laughs> stop it. <laughs> it's not a food stuff if you keep messing with it. Don't put gummy bears on a pizza, you sociopaths. <laughs> uh, do you actually want to talk about this? Uh, about UFO? We can talk about UFO. Do you want to though? Well, I, th I think that these are like high velocity surveillance balloons, which have been around for like high 50 years. High velocity balloons? Yes. There's no high velocity balloons. <laughs> a really? High velocity send, balloon. Send a, a balloon high enough, that thing will move at a high velocity. <laughs> hey, that was a nice try. That was a nice try. That was a nice try. <laughs> nice try. John, thank you so much. No, no we gotta go. The 10th no, no, season oh, of Last on. Week Tonight. And oh. this is the guy right there. One of these two guys I'm dying. is hosting. I'm dying. February 19th on HBO. This is John Oliver. We'll be right back with former White House Chief of Staff, Ron Paul.